tensions boiling over on multiple fronts when it comes to the migrant crisis. Governor Hochul, with some of her most forceful language yet, calling out the Biden administration, pleading with the federal government to let asylum seekers work. Meantime, on Staten Island, protests at a former school that any day now will begin to house migrants. Multiple people arrested overnight. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live near the former St. John Villa Academy um, in the Arrowchar section of Staten Island. Janice, good morning. Good morning, Charlene. As you mentioned, uh, protests, they've actually been going on for a couple of days now, so outrage really has been brewing over the city's decision to house migrants in this neighborhood. And take a look. Um, th so the protest happened here yesterday. We are actually two sets of barricades away from the former school. Uh, police did not want us getting any closer. Uh, a couple of hundred people were out here to protest the city's decision yesterday, and the day before, about a thousand people were out here all to voice their concerns. So the city bought the building that used to be the St. John Villa Academy when it closed back in 2018. As of now, the city plans to move about 300 migrants in in the coming days. This could happen as early as the end of this week. Neighbors say the move puts their safety in jeopardy because this is in the middle of a residential area and there are also two schools nearby. Local leaders and community members are also suing the city over this. Meanwhile, Governor Hope putting the pressure on the White House to act during a speech yesterday. She said the crisis originated with the federal government and therefore it should be resolved by them by expediting the work authorization process, uh, issuing federal housing vouchers, providing more space to use as shelters and reimbursement for a National Guard deployment. The reality is we've managed thus far without substantive support from Washington. And despite the fact that this is a national, indeed a inherently federal issue. But New York has shouldered this burden for far too long. Well, Governor Hochul also announced yesterday that cities in upstate New York will not be home to large emergency shelters. This is something that um, Mayor Adams has been pushing for. Now, Mayor Adams actually criticized the governor's remarks yesterday, saying uh, the, he, the state is underestimating and underplaying the, the role that they have in the migrant crisis. Live on